Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be crocheting this very quick and easy wine tote. And this is part of my four skein challenge. So if you're interested in the other videos in this challenge, please check the links in the description. And for this project, I'm going to be working with what's left over of my cream and black yarn from my four skein challenge. But you can use any yarn and it doesn't matter the weight, the size, the brand, or the type, but you will need two strands to work with. And we'll also be using a size K or 10 and a half or six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And go ahead and grab both ends of your two strands of yarn and we are going to work these simultaneously like they are one strand for the entire pattern. And we're going to begin with a magic circle and we're going to chain one and place six single crochets inside of it. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I will link to my stitch tutorials down there. And once you have your six single crochets inside your magic circle, then you're going to pull on your tails to tighten the gap. And for this next part, you're going to want to grab a scrap piece of yarn or a stitch marker. And I'm going to work over my tails, but you certainly don't have to, but I want to show you how to do that in case it's something you're interested in. So we're going to dive right into our first single crochet stitch, and we're going to place two single crochets inside of it. So if you want to work over your tail, just drape it over your crochet hook after you've inserted your crochet hook in the stitch and then yarn over and work over both like it is part of your stitch. And like I said, we're going to place two single crochets in that first stitch. And once you have your two single crochets in place, then you're going to slide your stitch marker or scrap piece of yarn up underneath the first stitch. And from here, we're going to place two single crochets in each stitch until we get back to our stitch marker. And when you make it back to your stitch marker, you should have a total of 12 single crochets. And we're going to remove our stitch marker and the pattern for this row is going to be to place one single crochet in our first stitch and then two single crochets in our second stitch. And we're going to want to mark the first stitch of this row with our stitch marker like we just did in our previous row. And that's going to be our pattern for the entire row. So we're going to alternate between placing one single crochet and two single crochets in each stitch in our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 18 single crochets. And again, at the end of your row, you're going to remove your stitch marker. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one single crochet in our first two stitches and then two single crochets in our third. And we're going to want to mark the first stitch of this row with our stitch marker or scrap piece of yarn. And we're just going to repeat that pattern going all the way around our row, placing one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochets in our third and when we get to the end of our row, we should have a total of 24 single crochet stitches. And at the end of our row, we're going to remove our stitch marker. And that was our last row of increasing. So from here, the pattern's going to be to place one single crochet in either the full stitch or the back loop only of each stitch in our row. 
So I'm going to place my single crochets in the back loop only, but if you want, you can just continue to work in the full stitch. If you're working in the back loop only, it creates a sort of ridge, which I kind of like. But again, you can kind of play around with it and make it your own if you would like. And so we're not going to be starting and stopping our individual rows, but instead this pattern is going to act like a spiral. So we're basically just going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch in each row to build the body of our wine tote until we want to place our handles. And I went ahead and followed my pattern of placing one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch in each row for a total of 28 rows. So to place your handles, what you're going to do is off your last stitch of your last row, you're going to chain seven. And then you're going to skip seven stitches. And in the back loop only of your eighth stitch, you're going to place a single crochet. And then you're going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of your next four stitches. And you should have five single crochets when you're done. And then you're just going to chain seven again. And you're going to skip seven stitches again. And in the back loop only of your eighth stitch, you're going to place a single crochet. And then you're going to place one single crochet in your next four stitches. And that should get you back to your original chains. So now you should have two handles formed by your chain sevens and then two sort of middle sections here with five single crochets in each. So next we're going to place seven single crochets over our first handle. So to do that, insert your crochet hook in this gap between your handle and your wine tote and then yarn over and pull up through the gap then yarn over and drop your two loops. And we're just going to repeat that six more times so that we have seven single crochets over our handles. And once you have your seven single crochets, then working in the back loop only of your first single crochet stitch between your handles, you're going to place a single crochet. And then you're going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of these remaining single crochet stitches between your handles. And when you get back to your second handle, we're going to repeat the process of placing seven single crochets over it. And just like before, we're going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of the five stitches between our handles. And so from here, we're just going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch in our row. And again, this pattern should work like a spiral. So we can dive right into that first stitch above our handle and it sort of should flow seamlessly between our rows. So go ahead and place one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch in each row to build the body of our handles. And I went ahead and placed two rows of single crochets on top of my handles. So you want to try to end your last stitch somewhere near the edge of your second handle. And all we're going to do to finish off our wine tote is place one slip stitch in the back loop only of our next three or four stitches. And now we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I am going to hide my tails down the inside of my wine tote. 
And after inserting your wine or other 750 milliliter bottle, it should look something like this. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.